Hi guys, welcome to how to auto-tune your voice using Adobe Audition Creative Cloud. Auto-tuning was originally invented to correct inaccuracies within a scale, um, but now it's since become sort of a medium or effect within itself. There's a lot of play and experimentation, so I'll show you some of that. And then I'll also show you how to use the effects rack instead of applying the effect directly to the audio file. The effects rack will let you play with multiple effects at a time without changing the original audio. And then at the end, you'll apply the effects. So I'm just going to delete that here. Now I started with my um, original recording. Dismantle the patriarchy. And you can... You can get this by playing, um, by hitting the record button here and singing into the mic. You can see it's starting to record my voice right now. Dismantle the patriarchy. Dismantle the patriarchy. And then you can play back. Dismantle the patriarchy. Dismantle the patriarchy. And then highlight whatever you don't want, go ahead and delete. For the sake of this, I'm going to use the recording that I originally had. So now um, to apply the auto-tune effect or to add it into the effects rack, you'll hit the arrow down here, scroll down to uh, time and pitch, automatic pitch correction. So you'll want to choose the scale that you're originally saying in, but like I said, this is sort of a medium to play with. Um, F majors, um, Something that I thought maybe worked best. Dismantle the patriarchy. But of course I can do something like, you know, minor, put it in A. Dismantle the patriarchy. And let's see if something gets really crazy here. Dismantle the patriarchy. So I'm going to stick with the F major. Now attack, that's how quickly the effect will apply. So the slower the attack, the less um, noticeable it will be. Dismantle the patriarchy. And you can really notice this with sensitivity between 0 and 200. Um, this, of course, are the sense, the difference between um, a note like C and C sharp that is 100 cents. So the range that you have is 200 cents. So the higher the range, the more noticeable the effect. The patriarchy. 150. The patriarchy. 75. The patriarchy. Oh, the I'm going to leave it here at fast and um, 200. And it's cool, you can see it changing the here. How it's correcting in the range. So great, we now have our auto tune effect. And usually with auto tune, there's a reverb. So if you go back to this arrow and you go down to reverb full reverb. It's going to give you a little warning that there might be some latency in applying it real time. So usually it'll open with this default. The patriarchy. I like that, but I think um, I want to play a little bit more with the reverb settings. Martian Echo. Dismantle the patriarchy. Ghost Whispers. I think church kind of works here. Dismantle the patriarchy. 
So now that you have what you want um, for your auto-tune and reverb effects, if you um, sing into the your mic, it'll apply those effects. Um, the effects racks will apply. Dismantle the patriarchy. Don't use my body and sell it back to me. Dismantle the patriarchy. Don't use my body and sell it back to me. Great, so I like that little ending there that I just kind of came up with. So I'm going to delete that. Actually, I'll just move this a little bit closer. Now I've added on to my original recording. Dismantle the patriarchy. Don't use my body and sell it back to me. And if you notice while it's playing, it's going in the red. Don't use my body and sell it back to me. So you'll want to limit that. If we take the arrow down and go to amplitude and compression, hard limiter, it starts to go in the red when it's above negative six, so we're gonna limit it to negative six, okay? And you'll see that here, and this means that hard limiter is applying to the first and second effect. So whatever effect is the lowest, that means it's applying to everything that precedes it. Dismantle the patriarchy, don't use my body, and sell it back to me. Great, you'll notice that there wasn't any red, so we're ready actually to export. And um, in order to export, you do have to apply the effects. If you don't apply them, it'll export as the original file. Doesn't take too long. File, export. And then choose your pathway here, and that's good for me. And you're done. Perfect. So thank you for joining me for how to auto-tune your voice for Adobe Audition Creative Cloud. Please come back if you have any other Adobe Audition questions.